Welcome back to the misadventures of Jason. This is the tired Jason. My eyes are droopy. My beard is shaggy. My hair. Actually, not too bad today. It's been a long day. Long, long day at work. Got my um, slightly modified Missouri Meerschaum cob. I, uh, I took and dyed this cob in the shank black and uh, then bought this, uh, this uh, forever stem from uh, Vermont Freehand and uh, it's kind of like my, my pirate pipe. Yar. I'm smoking something completely new and different in this pipe. This is my uh, first time trying this blend. And uh, I am really enjoying it. It's uh, it when I when I first got it out of the the baggie um, that was in the jar, and I had to cut open the baggie to get it out of the jar, and therefore spill tobacco everywhere. But I did it on my cutting board, so I didn't actually lose any of those precious flecks of of uh, leaf. Uh, I noticed little bits of tobacco. I bought a four-ounce bag, bulk, from Smoking Pipes. And some of the bits literally looked like they were um, broken off pieces of, um, like, pirate cake or black frigate. Had um, kind of that English smell to the, to the bag, to the jar. Um... But then there were other cuts in there, other flakes of tobacco that looked totally different, like some broken up flake in there, some like broadleaf flake, like some oriental leaf in there. Uh, and so it's a very unique and, and interesting blend that, sorry, uh, I got terrible lighting here. Is that any better? Got to tamp this down just a touch. All right, amateur photographer right here. Mm. So, um, more about this blend that I'm smoking. Uh, it's got a distinct sweetness and a distinct Latakia flavor. Uh, it actually reminds me a bit of plum pudding. But I can taste the Orientals in there, the sweetness. And I've, I can definitely taste a lot of Kia in there. And this is such a it's such a unique flavor medley going on in my mouth right now. And you're probably saying, "Come on already, Jason. What is the blend? Because we really want to get some." Well, this showed up in one of my yabos. And, uh, like I said, this is the first time I've, I've tried it. Just opened it up. This is the, like, bottom of the barrel bargain price point. Um, I got four ounces. I think it probably cost me, like, I don't know, $5. Is the suspense killing you yet? Huh? Hmm. This is the Grand Croupier Boneyard. My understanding is that this blend is literally just a blend, like a lot of you probably have, of various, all sorts of different types of, of blends that have literally just been, you know, they maybe they didn't have enough to put into a, into a, a full tin, so they put it into a, a bucket. Or something, right? And over time, they've just continually piled all these different tobaccos in that bucket and then they're selling it off as the Boneyard Blend. This has some good quality tobaccos in it. And it is not an aromatic from what I can taste right now. 
It is definitely in English. It actually tastes much, like I said, like like plum pudding. Uh, it, it's a Balkan. It, it tastes like a Balkan. So, pick yourself up some because it's actually really tasty. But, that's not the real reason why I'm doing this video. The real reason for this video is to say a very heartfelt and grateful thank you to one of my um, more recent subscribers who himself just yesterday, October 13th, 2020, did a shout out and mentioned my channel and said, hey, check me out so that I can get some more subs. Well, guys, uh, I can tell you this. I looked on my, on my channel uh, yesterday evening, I think it was, so the evening of the 13th, and I had gone up from like 87 or 89 subs to 92, which really floored me. Then I had a really long, busy 12-hour day at AORC and uh, was sitting down just kind of relaxing tonight. Figured I'd pull up YouTube, take a look. And I pull up YouTube and, you know, down there in the lower bottom where it says notifications, I had nine plus notifications. I was like, what in the world is going on here? And so I pop that open and I start scrolling I see all these different comments from all sorts of people that I hadn't seen before um, and a whole bunch of notifications of new subscribers I was like oh my gosh what happened so I'm reading through some of the comments and one of the commenters uh, one of my recently subscribed um, subscribers thank you very much for that by the way and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button but his comment said, hey, just checked out your channel and was directed to it by this other guy. I was like, really? Wow, I'm touched. And so I went to this other guy's channel and uh, looked through some of his videos and found the video that uh, that he did the shout out to me and he actually had my page in his description and um i i was i was just floored i've you know i think we've maybe shared a couple comments back and forth on some of my videos and that's about it uh, but i want to give a huge shout out and a great thank you um to smoking cardboard dude you rock i really appreciate you and what you're doing um, I wish you continued success. I loved your video. That was a fantastic yabo you got. I am looking forward to trying some of those blends myself. As soon as I smoke through some of the blends I've got open. <laughs> but, again, thank you very much, Smoking Cardboard. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, you helped get me over that 100, po 100 sub point, And it is uh, greatly appreciated. And uh, I am so thankful to be a part of the YTPC and uh, looking forward to uh, continued success and continued videos and content just to give you guys a window into my life and who I am and what I enjoy. So, if you haven't subscribed to Smoking Cardboard, go check out his channel, give him a subscribe, let him know you're there and you're watching. He's a great guy. Um, he's got great cadence. When he's talking on the video, it's really easy to follow. Uh, he, he shared a couple stories, which were fun to listen to. I'm not a very good storyteller, um, but he is. He's, he, he had a couple great stories, and uh, it was really fun to watch him and, and great, to, great to get that shout-out. So thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. Looking forward to uh, helping each other out in the future. And uh, let me know if any time when you see me doing a Yabo, if, uh, if there's a blend that you'd like to try, just let me know. I'd be more than willing to, uh, to do a trade, send you some samples. Uh, I love that part of this community. It's fantastic.
So, I want to thank all of you for watching this video, spending 10 minutes of your life where you could be doing something else probably way more productive than watching this old guy. So thank you for watching, and uh, thanks for being a subscriber, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Happy smokes, folks.